Okay, water is behind a dam. It's released at that many meters per second. Find how long it will take to release a million cubic meters. So it'll be one times ten to the six times ten to the three over two fifty oh oh oh. Ten power nine divided by two five oh mm -hmm. That's seconds, so that would be in minutes, to the nearest minute, 67 minutes. Due to heavy rainfall, um, the flow increased by 10% for 24 hours. Find out many meters cube of water were released in that 24 hour period. So it's 250000 times 1.1. times 24 hours times 3,600 seconds so I got 2.38 ah no hang on that's liters and they want it in meters cubed so I got 2.376 times 10 to the 10 liters so to make that meters cubed i'll have to divide by a thousand so that would be 2.38 times 10 to the 7 liters cubed John walks around a circular trail at that speed. How long will it take him to complete three full circuits? So distance is 2 pi r times 3. Over speed, which is 0, uh, which is uh, 6. And the radius is 0 0.5. Okay. 2 times pi, 2 times pi times 0 0.5 times 3 divided by 6 um, 1.57 hours which is 94 minutes Mary decides to walk every day over five day period. She walks this three times on day one. She increased by 15% each day for the next four days. Her average speed on day five is four kilometers. How long will it take her to complete her walk on the day five? So she walks three and then she increases by 15%. So then it's three, 3.45. Three point nine six seven five on day three, day four, etc. And then it's really day five that I care about. So the distance would be five point two four seven kilometers on day five. Uh, distance over speed is time. To the nearest minute, 79 minutes. One day during John's walk, he meets Mary at Point P along the trail. Mary's walking in the opposite direction at a steady speed of four. John continues walking at six. How far will he travel until he meets Mary again? <laughs> That's funny. So
They're walking in opposite directions. Mary's walking at four. John is walking at six. How far will he travel until he meets Mary again? So distance is speed multiplied by time. John will walk four times t. And Mary will walk six times t. And in total, they would have walked one full circle, which is 2 pi r. Um, 2 times pi, yeah, okay. So that means 10t is pi. So the time is 0 0.314. But how far will John travel? So, so if I sub that back in, you know, just calculate this part. Um, and that's in kilometers. So they want to the nearest meter. That'll be one, two, five, seven meters, I think.